Okay, what's up everyone? I am going to be modding a few things today. Okay, so what I have here is the Keychron uh, C1, which is a pretty good board. And this, if you can tell, is the Razor Palm Rest, which is the best palm rest for any actual people who, you know, put that stuff here. If you're typing for hours on end, this helps a lot. So I'm going to put this away first. Turn on my actual keyboard. I'm going to disconnect first. Okay, so we have a pretty good board here. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is to make sure we have all the screw points. There's nothing at the bottom, which is good. Okay, so the stuff that I'm going to put on is the sound dampening foam. This is for keyboard later, if you can tell. It goes inside right above the switch or before the switch, either one. It depends. And this one is going to go right below, right here. What this is going to do is to make sure that it's very thocky. I'm going to make it a thocky boy. Okay, so here is the sound before modding. Keyboard, uh, this is case lock. Shoot. Okay, so which switches do I have in right now? I have the Gateron Braids which is kind of uh, my preferred one to be honest i like blacks and stuff but no <sighs> prefer red because of the, the actuation force which is 45 blacks i think is either 50 or 60 depending honestly yeah i i type a lot and uh, i game as well even though i have the raised the uh, logitech one right here which i kind of modded if you want to watch there'll be a video coming out which shows how i even mod it and the fix that did because the G915 right it shakes whenever you like shake it you know there's a ch -ch 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 sound which I can't fix it it's no water I mean you can check it out on my Instagram I have a strong preference to not use blues clickies you know because you're just telling everyone that you're a fucking douchebag but if you're using tactiles right it gives a nice feeling whenever you type down but still has that feeling that bump thing. Prefer reds because uh, I, I do things very very fast because it's very important in my job to do things fast because I'm a video editor so I'm like okay well, that click, click stuff which also that's why I have a billion mouses. So. Clickies are on a different yeah clickies are like on a douchebag level. Uh, yeah I'm not there. Okay so I have not uh, read up much about this keyboard and how to take it out. Okay I'm going to start by taking out the switches so I'm just going to organize my keycaps right here. Honestly, you should only visit Singapore if you love to shop and you want to visit like Southeast Asia but you don't know where to go and you like to eat. The reason being is because Singapore has most of the food that you find in Southeast Asia. Okay, the thing about the getting anything from Keychron is that it's already pre-lubed. Okay, this one is a pre-built because it's a C1. C1 does not have a bare bone. Keychron does sell like the Q series, like Q1, Q whatever, whatever which sells it bare bone and it's a weighted keyboard. So out from the box, you really, it's really like foggy and you don't have to do a lot more. Yeah, but generally can be a better deal if you were to buy pre-built. Okay, so next part, I need to take not this casing. I have not read up about how to go about taking shit out. Do I have to like squish it out or something? I need to... Yo! I haven't heard of C series. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so C series. Okay, so you have your K series, your slim keyboard ones, and your normal ones, right? Then you got your Q, Q series stuff, and you have your C ones. Uh, C, for some reason, it wasn't that popular because it's only wired. I'm not sure you can see. There's no wireless, so it's just, it's just a wired keyboard. Yeah, it actually came out before the Q. So when they heard that people uh, buying this one to mod it, like fuck, they came out of Q-series and uh, put the mods in. It. It's literally just adding the foam. Oh, okay, I can do this. Okay, my fit tool. Please don't scratch. Please don't. Yeah, about to watch me destroy it. Oh my god. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, yes. Don't spoil. Please don't spoil. What? Q-series is only wired. I think Q has the wireless version. Actually, I'm not sure. I can't think right now. This is a very stressful situation. But then again, if I spoil this, uh, it gives me a reason to buy 
another one. Okay, cool. I got this off. It's just normal uh, plastic casing. Uh, C1 isn't meant to be mod, right? Yeah, it's not meant to be mod. Hence why I'm modding it. <laughs> yep, so this is the casing. So these plastic casings, right, are now getting more popular. You know, the ones where they just, you can just buy on its own, just plop it on a TKL. It's the same with, I have a techware shroud for the techware uh, 87 keyboard where you just buy the normal one, which looks exactly like this. So, oh my god, the limp. Where you can just pop it on and pow, it looks expensive, but it's not. So yeah, here you go. It's just plastic one. Put it in one corner. I have locked out the cats. They are not in the room. Okay, so what we have here is no screws at the back compared to uh, other propriety, proprietary keyboards like the Logitech. Blech. Logitech. I bought this uh, G915, right? And it's so shaky. It's like when you move it, right? The switch just literally shake. It pisses me off so much. So I, I can't bother that and I fixed it. Uh, if you're on my Instagram, you can check it out. Okay, so all we have to do is just to unscrew and that's it. Where is my screw? Okay, yep. Yeah. This will be a very fast mod. Okay, the reason why I'm not going one by one here is because I am uncertain on the teardown of the. So I'm just gonna work outside, then in all the way. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's one up here. Okay, it depends. If you're gonna put custom keycaps, uh, look for the C1 non backlit version. Because uh, one thing is cheaper. You're not wasting the extra money on the, the LED lights, which will be covered by your custom key. So generally, um, after after Keychron found out that people were modding this board, right, they just came out with the Q1 and made more expensive. Zoom TKL. So yeah, there is the Zoom TKL one, right, which is good. I mean, it looks exactly like this, but uh, I think there's a variety of colors, and you can mod. I wouldn't say it looks exactly like this because I I think. The zoom right has it doesn't have this so basically this whole part in a triangle triangle it comes down so it is a bit more aged up and that's good and it's more if you were to mod it you can just put a lot of silicone make it very fucky you know more solid because as we know sometimes the board doesn't matter but the casing matters more but that's a different thought train of thought okay let me double check one two three four five seven eight Nine. Okay, I don't trust me. I'm gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, nine. It, it seems like a very uneven number. Two, three, four, eight, nine. I feel like there's something missing. I do not know why. Okay, let's lift up slowly. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, it's not connected to the board anymore. So you have this. Looks nice. This is a hot swap keyboard. I can always change it out, but they've already looted everything, including the stabilizers, which is awesome. Saves me half the time because I'm an idiot and I tend to screw up my board. This is just that. Gonna leave it here. Okay, so what I have is a uh, neoprene foam. I have uh, this normal pre cut one. But it just goes on top. And... Okay, so I have this. It's gonna go on top. So normally I have this other foam which is good enough but it's a bit thicker. Where if you put the board down, it's gonna squish it. Yeah, but that is if you wanna push the board up to squish against the, the, the cover. Which is not what we wanna do. Okay, uh what you're gonna do is because this new print we can't just squish through. Actually wait, 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 ah. Wow. Try even waste it on here. There's actually a lot of fucking space here. There's a lot of space between the board. There's a lot of space. a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Oh my god. There is a lot of space. Okay, you know what? Your print's not gonna cut it. I'm gonna get another foam. So this is the foam I was just talking about. It's a bit thick, like yeah, you can see this is a thick boy. After you can see that. Okay, so this is quite thin, right? But this is, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Let's go all the way, brothers. We'll squish it down. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see, but if I squish down all the way, it's good like that. It's gonna miss the USB-C area. Yeah, I'm gonna mute it, man. Mute it. We're gonna go all the way. I don't know man, it's like it's like this right, it's gonna be so thin, it's gonna be like right on the bottom of the board. Yeah, this is called muting. Why do I wanna mute? Because I'm a very angry person. Try to leave space? Nah. Giving space is for losers. Let's go on the way! Okay, so with this material right, you can it's very easy to cut. And you can just literally just poke the whole 
it's like you do need to yeah fuck my life let's do this let's do this let's go yeah okay yeah press down press down life let's go down press down you know like people are going to go like oh man this guy is an idiot yes he is yes he is this material is for lazy people who do not want to cut up the foam okay uh that cut this up okay the reason why i'm cutting this part is because of the sweet let's see here because i don't want any like i don't know how i want this part yes yes let's go yes. this is gonna be a very fucking white okay what else do i need cut and that's it start shaving well it's not right you're not supposed to do this uh, fuck everything up it's fine okay i could just use a uh, hot iron just melt it down okay i think that's enough enough meat okay nothing again okay honestly it, that would be good for okay this is obviously just gonna go on top it's down as uh as you can tell the very very it's crazy okay so this kind of foam right it is only good if you're making sure it's gonna be very quiet should i still use this i'm not sure oh okay you won't be able to hear it you won't be able to when you're typing you're gonna cause without yep it goes under the plate but i'm putting it on top because i just want to you know make sure there's no you hear that sounds a lot of people like it i just want to put it in just to see how it goes because yeah keep that one side i have this where's my scissors only my pen knife right now mr ziggy bones is regretting following it's gonna immediately unfollow honestly i'm just yeah i'm i'm uh, honestly a bit too lazy to should i just do it do it the proper way instead of trying to mute the keycap okay so i i'm just saying this in case uh i have to edit this down so putting the form is supposed to be between it here and the board, the PCB. But I'm not gonna do that. Cause I don't know, I, I actually might as much as I do a lot of weird stuff. I'm still playing all but need to head off for what meeting now might join the stream later again if you still okay cool. I might be playing games though, you see how. But thanks for dropping by though. Hope all things are good in Wales and uh have a good meeting. Okay, I've done the basic thing, taping the bottom of the board. And now comes the next. Should I just call it a day? Put everything back together. Or, mm, add the foam or not add? Ah oh, fuck! I'm just gonna add the foam. I'll just add the foam. Not like a normal. Oh, this Kateron is so much. It's way too to just nicely lubed. Okay, so this is what we have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this uh poron thickness <clears throat> on the spacebar. I think that's about it. Cause uh, this is for productivity, right? Uh, because this is reality. And I am a gamer. W A S D Q one two three four. This is modded for Valor. One two three four Q E R. Okay, this is the E key. This is the R key. Control. This is for teabagging. This key is very important because it's very crucial to paying respects in the game. Okay, so I think I'm done. Modded for Valor. These are the most used keys, especially control for the teabagging. Okay, now that is done, what comes next? Next, we'll be putting it back in the board. So I've put the foam. Nice, you don't see any gap. So verdict is that this one is a bit thick, thick now. Okay, so gotta do the four corners. Not a perfect one, but doing its job. I think it's almost done. I just need to put on the keycap. Just move on the cap. Okay, so this is the mod. I'm going to sound test. Okay, so this is the other. This is the space bar.
Okay. So it sounds... I can tell if it sounds better. Okay, cool. So that's how it sounds like. You now I need to plug in to see if it's still working. Okay, so this is what I like. Just normal light. But for some reason, it's a bit really. So this is how it is. Sleeping. Not really a big fan. Okay, cool. So that's how it looks like. And... Yeah, I just need to test all the keys. Okay, so far so good. Yep, so that's it. Okay, so that is Keytron C1 mod. I'll say it's perfect, but it feels better. Yep, not a lot of people want the muted sound, but I think it's fine. Cool, nice. Okay, well, thanks for try dropping by. I need to pick up some food. Apparently, someone ordered something. So I'm gonna go raid Auntie Neong. Okay, thanks for dropping by. I'll see you guys later.